<clears throat> Hello, welcome to our beginner workout for today. Um, so today we're going to go through an, a mobilize, stretch, and activate workout. Uh, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds rest for the three exercises within the group, and we'll do three sets of that uh, before we move on to the next group. Um, as always, as we're going through this workout, go at your own pace. So if you want to speed up, push yourself a little bit harder. If you need to slow things down, take a rest. You do what's right for you so that you get the best uh, workout and the most out of this workout. As we're going through all the exercise, really make sure you focus on that technique. We want to get that technique dialed in so we get the most out of the exercise that we're doing. We hit those muscles that we're trying to target. Uh, we work on the mobility we're trying to target. And then lastly, as we're going through it, just make sure you're having a good time. Make sure you're having fun. Um, and like I said, if you need to speed up or slow down and give yourself a little bit better workout, uh, do what's right for you. So yeah, we'll pop down on the ground. Let's get into it. Uh, so we're going to start by warming up the glutes, uh, mobilizing the glutes, mobilizing the hips. Uh, so we have a little triangle with the front leg, my left leg, uh, right leg's pulled in behind, hands on either side of that left knee, nice and tall. We're going to hinge forward from the hip. Nice stretch through the glutes here. Uh, you can play with the angles if you want to move in towards the foot a little bit. Uh, if you feel a good stretch out by the knee, again, do what's right for you here. Okay, Just think it nice and long through the spine, though. Good. From there, we're going to pop up. We're going to walk our hands away from our feet. So I'm going to be looking over my left shoulder now. So that's giving me that big stretch all through the right side. Looking over that left shoulder, nice big stretch there, opening everything up. Okay, that's great. Now we're going to come back to the middle and then we're going to switch uh, which knees forward. So now my right knee is going to go forward, my left leg's pulled in behind, hands on either side of the knee, I'm going to hinge forward, get that nice stretch through the glutes again. Again, play with the angle so you get what's right for you, where you get that, um, that optimal stretch through the glutes. So we'll come back up, and then we're going to walk those hands away again, looking over the right shoulder now. Nice big stretch through the front of that left hip, opening things up there. Excellent. So we'll come back to the middle. We're going to get up. And we're going to start tying in that upper body again. So we're going to reach back with the right hand. So a nice big stretch through the front of uh, the chest, through the shoulder. And then I'm going to bring my right elbow towards my left knee. So I'll pick that left knee up. And we're going to meet in the middle there. So that's going to uh, connect the right and the left side, get the core engaged. And then we're opening everything up there as we reach back. Okay, we'll hit the other side now. So reaching the left hand back, elbow to knee. Reach, elbow to knee. Reach, elbow to knee. Okay, so we've got that uh, upper body warmed up. So now we're going to add in a lunge with some rotation. So I'm going to step forward with my left leg. So weights on that left leg. And then I'm going to rotate to my left. Okay, step, rotate to the left. Step, loading the leg, rotating, adding in that bit of rotation. One more, load the leg, rotate. Drive back up. So we'll hit the other side now. So right leg, and then I'm rotating to the right. Big step. Rotate to the right. Step. Rotate. One more on this side. Step. Rotate. And drive up. Okay, so we're warmed up, ready to go. So group one, we're going to have a half kneeling um, ankle glide, so a little bit of mobility for the lower leg and the ankle. We'll do a hamstring stretch, and then our third exercise in that group will be a wall sit with bicep curl. So if you have weights, you can use those for lighter weights for the bicep curl. If you don't, you would just focus on uh, curling and contracting the arm. So we're going to get down on the ground, uh, kneeling, and then we're going to get started here, okay? So I'm half kneeling. And we're going to get started now, and then I'm just gliding that knee forward. So that's that ankle glide. I feel the mobility um, through that lower calf, through the ankle a little bit. So do that for half here. Okay, we're going to switch sides now. So we'll just kneel on the other knee, and now we're just pushing 
Doing that little ankle glide, pushing the knee forward, feeling that stretch through the lower leg on the right side now. Good, gliding forward. Feeling that stretch, perfect. Okay, so now we're on to the hamstring stretch. So we're gonna stand up. I'm gonna stretch my left hamstring first. So we'll uh, put the left foot forward, heels on the ground, toes pulled towards the shin. And then I'm gonna bend uh, from the hip. So my hips are gonna go back, my torso is gonna go forward. I got most of my weight on my right leg here, but I'm feeling that stretch all through the back of the left uh, hamstring, left leg. Okay, we're gonna switch sides. So now the right foot goes out, uh, toes pulled towards the shin. My toe is pulled up. I'm hinging those hips back, torso is going forward, and I'm feeling that big stretch through the back of my right leg now. Okay, and then last one we're going to go into is the wall sit. So we're going to be against the wall. I'm going to get my feet about shoulder width apart, you know, kind of in the squat, a little bit away. I'm going down into the squat. So whatever's comfortable for you depth wise, okay? You don't have to go super low, you know, just a uh, just like a quarter squat feels good for you to start, then you can do that. And then we're going to add in this bicep curl, okay? So like I said, if you have dumbbells, you could use those. That'd be a little bit more challenging. Um, otherwise, you just curl up, feel a squeeze of your bicep at the top, and then back down. Squeeze. So each time at the top, you're kind of trying to contract the bicep as hard as you can. And time. Good. So feeling the legs there a little bit by the end. Um, we're going to get back down on the ground, and we're getting ready for that half kneeling ankle glide. So I'm all set up, and again, I'm just gliding that knee forward to get that mobility through the ankle. Good, gliding. Okay, we're going to switch sides now. So we're kneeling on the other one, and I'm just gliding that knee forward, feeling that little stretch through the lower leg. And time. Okay, so we're going to stand up. We're getting ready for our hamstring stretch. Doing great here. So I'll put that left foot out, toes pulled towards the shin. I'm going to hinge from my hips. Most of my weight's on the right leg. I'm feeling that nice stretch through the back of the left leg. Nice and long through the spine. Good, we're going to switch sides. Getting the hips back. And time. All right, so we'll get ready back against the wall, right? We're getting ready for the uh, um, the wall sit with the bicep curl. So down into whatever squat, whatever depth feels comfortable for you. Squeeze in the bicep at the top. Lots of tension there. Good, keep that up, keep that load in the legs. Nice flat foot. Pushing, keep pushing. And time. All right, so two rounds down, one left to go. Let's get down on the ground again. We're getting ready for the half kneeling uh, ankle glides. I'm nice and tall. I'm gliding that knee forward. I'm feeling it's a little bit easier already through that uh, ankle and that lower leg. Feeling a kind of release after all the glides I've done so far. Okay, that's good. We're going to hit the other side now. Good, keep that up. You can even feel your leg get bloated a little bit, so a little bit of work through the quads there as well. Okay, so we're going to get ready for the hamstring uh, stretch again. Toe pulls up, sit the hips back. Nice and long through the spine, feeling that stretch through the back of the leg. Okay, we're switching it out, so we're going to hit the other side. All right, great work. Okay, so we're on the wall again, so we got one more of the wall sits uh, with the bicep curl, okay? 
it down into it, curling up. That up, keep that up. Let's squeeze at the top. And time. Good work, good work. Okay, so group one done, so we can grab a drink, grab a breather. So group two, we're gonna have arm circles. Just do a nice big arm circles, opening everything up, okay? Um, after that, we're gonna do a uh, tall kneeling side bend. So we'll be kneeling down and then we're bending to the side to get a big stretch. So we could either do it um, with our arms both down or we could reach one up and then really get that stretch through the side. So it's gonna hit all through the side there. Uh, and then we're gonna finish those squats. So another one on the legs, okay? So take one more big breather and we'll get set for our next one. Okay, so it's just going to be arm circles, so we're standing, okay, and here we go, we're just going to open up, reach into the ceiling, and then reach him back to open everything up. Okay, so we're just moving the shoulders, opening the chest, getting those muscles in the back of the shoulder working as well. All right, so we're gonna take a knee, so it's tall kneeling, so we're on both knees, nice and tall through the hips. Like I said, two ways we can do this. So think about reaching your hand down your side, okay, and you're gonna feel the stretch to the opposite side. You can reach the hand up if you want to make that stretch even a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna go all on one side for half, now I'm gonna switch. So with my other hand's down, reaching down towards the ground, and I'm feeling that stretch to the left side now as my right hand reaches down. And time. Okay, and then we're getting ready for a squat. So we're standing up. Feet are about shoulder width apart, toes turned out a little. I'm gonna have my hands right here. You can hold them out in front of you if you want, like so. But we're just going down in that squat. Keeping the foot nice and flat, keeping the legs engaged. You go as low as feels comfortable for you. Make sure you're keeping the back nice and neutral um, so we don't want the back rounding. So if you feel like you're going down and your back has to round, that's where you're going to stop at for right now, okay? Go whatever your, whatever your current range of motion allows. And time. Okay, so a little breather and then we're going to get back into our arm circles. Okay, so been set, opening up, reaching back, get the shoulders moving. Good, so we got the whole shoulder working front, back, we're opening up through the chest here as well as we go through. Great one to keep those shoulders healthy and moving through a full range. Again, go whatever range feels comfortable for you right now. Okay, so we're back down on our knees, getting ready for our tall kneeling side bend. I'm gonna add in the reach. So I'm gonna reach for the ceiling, and then as I reach down the side, my hand's gonna come over a little as well. So just kind of tying in my lat a little more. Okay, we're gonna hit the other side now. Again, go as far as uh, feels comfortable for you. Getting nice and tall as we're bending to the side. And time. Now we're gonna get ready for our squats again. I'm gonna kind of go from a side here now. I've got the same stance. I'm gonna have my hands up again. And you see, I'm just trying to keep my back nice and neutral, so not round in the back. Uh, just going as low as I can, keep that neutral spine. Good, keep that up. So again, this is where you're going to go at your pace. Give yourself a good workout. Slow down or speed up as you need to. 
but make sure the movement's always under control. Feel that form going, you just take a little rest. All right, one round left. Two down, one to go, good job so far. Okay, getting set, gonna move those shoulders again. So here we go. Good, all the way around. Again, getting all those little muscles engaged. And time. All right, so we're on to our tall kneeling uh, side bends. Go down on the knees again. If, the, if, it get, if it bothers you to get on the knees, you can always do this standing, folks. Same idea, though, just reaching down, the leg, bend to the side, and it's opening up my right side here. Okay, we're gonna hit the other side now. And time. All right, getting ready for our last one of the squats. And we get a little breather again. Okay, so feet are set. Here we go. Gotta keep that up. We feel that burn in the legs. You got this. Keep the form good. Pushing through. And time. Okay, we'll grab a little breather, grab a drink. Two down, two to go. So, next group, we're going to do some neck circles. So, getting that mobility through the neck, getting the neck moving, it can get really tight uh, after a day of work. Uh, we'll pop on the ground, we can do the pigeon stretch, so really good one for opening up the hip, stretching the glutes, and then we'll go on our stomach and chest, we'll do a prone T, so really for activating those uh, muscles in between our shoulder blades. So here we go, next one, so next circles. So we're going to drop the chin towards the chest, and then move that ear over towards the shoulder, tilt the head back, ear to the other shoulder, and then down. We'll go a couple that way. And then we'll go the other way. So other ear goes to the shoulder, head up, chin goes down. All right, and then on that next one, if you want, I had my mouth open there, you can close your mouth. You'll get a little more stretch through the front of the neck. Um, pigeon stretch. So we're down on the ground, okay? Kind of got that uh, triangle formed with the knee. The other leg can be pulled back in behind, um, and then you're going to just sit down into it, whatever is comfortable for you. So I'm kind of trying to push, uh, it's my left knee forward, I'm trying to push my left knee, uh, left hip down towards the ground, uh, and get that stretch in my hip flex. So we're going to switch sides, and then you see sometimes one side's a little tighter than the other. I was a little slow to switch there, so I'm just going to spend an extra second in it. Okay. Uh, and then prone T raises. So we're getting down on the ground on our chest, and then we're just lifting. So we're in that T with our arms, and we're just lifting up. I like my thumbs towards the ceiling because it encourages that little bit of external rotation. If that's a bit too much, you could always just be lifting the back of your hands towards the ceiling, okay? So do what's right for you. All right, so one round down, two to go. Let's pop up, you're doing great. And right, we're gonna get ready for those next circles again. So chin drops down, ear goes to the shoulder, we're looking up, and then all the way around. Good, 
Here, we're going to go the other way now. And time. So with that one, definitely only what's comfortable, right? Okay, let's get set up for that pigeon again. You can breathe through it. Okay, and then we're going to switch sides. Okay, so we're going to get down on our stomach, right, because we're going into the prone T raises next. Again, get ready for our last round. So we're starting with our neck circles. Drop the chin, ear to the shoulder, head goes up all the way around. Okay, other way. Getting ready for our pigeon again next. Down on the ground, get that set up. Hinge forward, think about pushing that. If you're on the left knee forward, think about pushing that left hip down towards the ground. Stretch a little deeper. Okay, we're gonna switch to the other side. All right, and then we're on to our stomachs for that prone T. Finishing strong with that prone T, feel that squeeze between your shoulder blades. So lift, feel that tension in between the shoulder blades. I like to hold for a half second or so at the top just to feel those muscles engaged, kind of locking in. They don't get a lot of work during the day, so important to keep an upper back healthy and healthy shoulders and time good work all right that's three groups down we've got one left to go so we can grab a drink grab a little breather if you need it okay so last one we're going to do leg swings okay so we'll just be swinging them back and forth uh, hitting our hamstrings, kind of stretching out our hip flexors as we go back and forth. We'll do a butterfly stretch where we're sitting on the ground um, and just opening our knees up, letting them, uh, the outside of our knee drop towards the ground. So we'll stretch our groin and then a uh, forward lunge. So we'll be stepping forward into that lunge, okay? We can alternate that one. So let's do it. So last round, here we go. I like to grab onto something for support and then it's just kind of swinging at forward and back. Keep your core pretty tight so the movement's coming from your leg. Get a stretch and some activation. Okay, we're gonna switch sides. Core is tight and swinging, stretching back and forth. Good one if you're gonna do any type of kicking or anything like that, even running. And time. Okay, so the butterfly stretch. So we're going to be getting down on the ground, okay? So the uh, 
Knees are open, and then we're just dropping the knees out to the side. So the outside of our knees going towards the ground, okay? Try and sit tall, and then think about activating those muscles on the outside of the thighs to pull the knees down towards the ground. This is a really good one because a lot of times the hips aren't opening like that, so we can get a little bit tight um, in the groin there. Okay, and then forward lunges is going to be our last one, so we're just going to step, nice flat foot, uh, and then drive them back up to the standing position. Okay, so land, I'm going to drive back up, and then I'm going to step with the other foot to activate that other leg. So just going back and forth like that. Just... Maybe barely touch your knee to the ground or just don't quite touch it, okay? We don't want to be banging our, our knee off the ground. So it's really load on that front leg, control yourself, uh, and then drive back up without having to drop or bang your knee off the ground, okay? And side. Okay, so we're getting ready for our leg swings again here. Just swinging back and forth, working both sides of the leg, getting a stretch on both sides of the leg. Okay, we're going to hit the other side now. And time. Okay, so we're getting ready for our butterfly stretch again. Show you from the side, pull the feet in, and then we're just focusing on, again, opening those knees up, trying to get them to go down towards the ground, pretty tall through the spine, and then focusing on our breathing the whole time through. Some people will just give like a light little push, a light little push. You can give yourself that little assistance, but not necessary. We can let the weight of the legs just drop them down and open us up. And time. Okay, getting ready for our forward lunges again. So land, nice and controlled, drive and back up. Good work, good work. Nice, find that rhythm that works well for you. Make sure everything's in control. You're landing on that nice flat front foot. Five seconds. Awesome, good work, good work. Okay, so we're on our last round. That was great, two rounds done so far. One left, you got this. Okay, so get the balance on the wall. Then we're gonna get that leg swinging. Okay, we're switching, so we're going to hit the other side. Alright, so we're getting ready for our butterfly again. Okay, pulling the feet in, feet are touching, open the knees. About pushing that outside of your knee down towards the ground. Good, 15 seconds left. And time. All right, and then we're getting ready for our forward lunges. So last one, we have forward lunges here. Right. Good, keep that control, keep yourself moving if you can. This is our last set, you got this. 
Looking great so far. Keep everything moving, dialed in. 10 seconds left. Nice, almost there, and time. All right, good work. So that's it, that's it. We're done the workout. I'm uh, gonna grab a drink and then we'll cool it down, okay? All right, so cool down, stretch it out. Uh, grab onto the wall if you can. Grab the foot, pull the uh, heel towards the bum, cushion the hip forward, get that nice little stretch through the front of the hip. Nice and tall through the chest as you're stretching that out. Good. So we'll hit the other side. Same thing, got our support, nice and tall, pushing the hip forward. Great, so while we're by the wall, we're gonna do a chest stretch. So put our hand on the wall, and we're gonna turn away from it. I got my right hand on the wall, I'm turning to the left. I'm looking to the left, so I'm getting the neck, chest, front of the shoulder, even into the bicep here. Good, so we're gonna hit the left side. So my left hand goes on, I'm gonna turn away towards my right. Just that gentle stretch. So we're not forcing it, don't push it too hard. Just that gentle, easy stretch, just feeling things lengthen a little bit as we breathe through it. Good, then we're gonna finish with a few forward folds, stretch out the back side of the body. So we're gonna reach up, hinge forward from the hips, letting the weight of the body drop us down, stretch things out, reach, dropping us down, stretching everything out. Two more, nice and long. Last one. Awesome. So that's it. Uh, thanks for joining us today, going through that beginner workout, the Mobilize, Stretch, and Activate. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit better, uh, moving a little bit better, feeling ready to, uh, you know, take on the rest of your day. Um, have a great rest of your day. Hopefully we see you back again soon, and uh, take care now. Bye.